Welcome to the TEX System Tutorial. System and Cart Overview The TEX system consists of a cart, a module, and a rotating monitor. The monitor detaches from the system by pulling out the latches on either side of the back and lifting upwards. Once the monitor is removed, the module can be disconnected by pulling the pin on the underside and lifting the module up. Before removing the module, disconnect all transducers and lower the latch in the back and unplug the unit. The battery compartment is located on the back of the cart and can be accessed by lifting the cover. Batteries are inserted via the latched panel on either side. The series of lights indicates the battery status. Please see the operator's manual for detailed information. The retractable power cord is located underneath the battery compartment. The back of the cart also features either a wipe holder, lockable basket, or charging station for the wireless probes. The front of the cart features a storage basket. The cart height can be adjusted via the depressible portion of the handle. Press and raise or lower to the desired height. There are four active transducer ports on the rear of the TEX main unit. You will also find three USB ports, HDMI, Ethernet, and VGA ports. To connect a transducer, flip the tab to the right to unlock. Secure the transducer and push lever to the left to lock it in place. It is recommended that the system be frozen or powered down to connect and disconnect transducers. The system is now ready to power up. The power button is located on the lower right side of the module. The TEX boots up in less than 30 seconds from off and less than 10 seconds from standby. When in standby, an orange moon-shaped icon will display in the upper right. Tap or swipe the screen to wake the system from standby. Note, the image will be frozen when initially waking from standby. Optional Trolley Features Overview Wireless Charger The TEX has an optional wireless charging dock that could either be freestanding or wall-mounted. It allows the system to charge without plugging the system into an outlet. When using the wireless wall charger, make sure that the system is positioned correctly for charging. Please note, make sure that nothing is obstructing the connection between the charging plate on the system and the wall charging unit, such as transducer cords, etc. This could potentially damage the unit and or transducer cable. Storage Options the back of the cart comes with a disinfectant towelette holder, but the customer has the option of replacing this with a lockable storage basket or charging station for the wireless transducers. Please note the lockable storage basket does not come with the lock. It would need to be supplied by the customer. Basic Workflow The TEX system features an intuitive user interface and easy-to-follow workflow. In portrait orientation, the basic exam workflow is illustrated with the tabs along the bottom left, patient, probe, review, report, eye station, and end exam. The icons in the center of the screen are for save image, save clip, freeze, and update. Imaging modes such as B mode, color, PW Doppler, and M mode are found along the bottom right. Thumbnails of images and clips appear at the very bottom once saved. The tabs for Image, Measure, Annotation, and Application are located in the bottom center section. The top half of the screen is the image area, slide controls for gain and depth, the customizable toolbar, imaging and exam information, screen icons, and the menu bar are found here. Would rotated to landscape orientation, the ultrasound image area moves to the center. The workflow tabs and imaging modes are all located along the bottom. The center tabs for measure, annotate, and image move to the left side of the screen, and thumbnails move to the right. We will use landscape orientation for the remainder of this video. However, regardless of which orientation is selected, the functionality for these tabs will be the same. The basic workflow for completing an exam is as follows. Tap the Patient tab to enter patient demographic information. Note, if no patient data is entered, the system will assign a date and timestamp to the saved images. Information can be added manually. When a field is tapped, a keyboard will appear for data entry. 
a DICOM workless or barcode scanner, can also be used to enter patient information. If either of these options is selected, a clinical application specialist will configure these when the system is installed. To query a work list, simply tap the Work List tab along the bottom of the patient data screen. If this tab is grayed out, it is because you are still in an active exam. Exit the patient data screen, end the exam, and then return to the patient tab. Tap Work List and Query. A list of patients will appear to choose from or input search parameters at the top of the page. Choose the desired patient from the work list or press Done when all information has been entered into the demographic page. Next, tap the Probe tab. This is where you will choose both the transducer and the exam type. Tap on the name of the desired exam mode to begin. Note, tapping on the picture of the transducer will bring up the default preset, which is demarcated by the colored icon on the list. Return to the Probe tab at any time during scanning to change exam modes or transducers or to reset imaging parameters if needed. Scan and save images and clips if desired. Review saved images with the Review tab. When you have completed your exam, tap End Exam. The iStation tab activates the patient archive. Review, delete, or send past exams from this page. If needed, Prior exams may also be reactivated to add or change data, such as patient demographics. To do this, highlight the desired exam and tap More at the bottom of the screen. Available options will be illuminated. To send an exam, highlight the desired exam, tap Send to along the bottom left, and choose the destination. This concludes the chapter on the basic TEX workflow. Next, we will review the screen icons and user interface. User Interface Let's take a closer look at the TEX screen icons and user interface. As noted earlier, workflow tabs, mode tabs, and icons for update, save image, save clip, and freeze are located at the bottom. The image tab is where parameters for the modes are adjusted. The measure and annotation tabs access those functions. The application tab is where the XPilot feature is accessed. More info is given on that function later in the video. At the top of the screen are demographic information, date, and time. Below that is the probe and imaging preset information. In the upper right are icons for task management, DVR, wireless and LAN connections, battery status, and hard drive status. Tap on any of these to open a dialog box for more information. The menu icon is located on the furthest right. Tap to access monitor brightness and contrast, screen lock, setup, and other functions listed. Note, a quick guide is also available for reference from the menu icon. A note about the battery icons. The large green icon is designed to be a quick visual check on the overall current status, whether charging or discharging. All five lit indicates an 80 to 100% capacity, four equals 60 to 80%, three equals 40 to 60%, two indicates a 20 to 40% capacity, and one equals 10 to 20%. If the light is orange, the battery capacity is less than 20%, and flashing orange means less than 10%. The small battery icon next to the menu shows the detailed percentage when tapped the time remaining when unplugged, and shows when the system is plugged in. More detailed information can be found in the operator's manual. The customizable toolbar is located to the left of the image. Here you will find tabs that can be customized to your site. A basic caliper, iWorks, QPath, iScan Helper, Print, iNeedle, eNavi, etc. are options that can be placed on the toolbar. To customize, tap and hold on the toolbar. The spaces will light up with add and delete icons, and a menu will display to the right. To delete a tab, simply tap the X. To add a tab, hold and slide over to the left from the menu. There are four customizable slots available above the permanent tabs for the Smart Toolbox, iTouch, Image Quality, and TGC tabs. The IQ key is where the frequency can be adjusted. There are six frequencies to choose from. There are three fundamental frequencies and three harmonic frequencies. 
Most of the time, the frequency will not need to be changed since the optimal frequency is applied to the exam preset. The eye touch key is the auto gain optimization. Once it is pressed, the key will stay highlighted blue. To turn it off, press and hold the eye touch key. Eye touch can be used in both B mode and PW mode. The TGC icon tab controls the time gain compensation, which allows for fine tuning of gain in depth dependent zones. Main Imaging Controls The image sector features depth markers in centimeters for reference. The TEX is powered by ZST technology, so there is no focal zone marker. Rather, the image is automatically focused throughout the field of view. The M denotes the marker side of the screen. This can be switched using the left-right control under the image tab. The gain and depth controls are located just to the right of the image in either orientation. You can slide or tap above or below the line to adjust. For gain, up is brighter and down is darker. For depth, up is more superficial and down is deeper. Tapping, especially for depth, is recommended for finer, more incremental control. Use freeze to measure, annotate, or print an image. When an image is frozen, there is the ability to cine back to review and save previous frames. To cine through the image, either swipe left on the imaging screen or adjust the frame indicator icon below the image. To save an image, press the save image icon. You do not need to freeze first to save a still image. To save a clip, press Save Clip. The system is set to either take prospective or retrospective clips in the general setup pages. Press the Print key to print an image to the optional onboard printer. The system will need to be plugged in to print. Save an image and print later if not plugged in during the scan. An application specialist can configure the optional onboard printer. To scan in full screen mode, use a finger to swipe down from the black border through the middle of the screen or press the full screen icon on the lower left. Images and clips can be saved in full screen mode and adjustments may be made to gain and depth. You may also turn on color Doppler, utilize a basic caliper and access the last exam types used. To access other modes and functions, exit full screen display. To exit full screen mode, tap the icon on the bottom of the screen again or swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Major imaging modes are located on the lower right side of the screen. B mode is grayscale imaging mode. Pressing the Image tab will allow access to adjustment options for each mode. In B mode, you will see parameters in gray maps, dual, FOV or field of view sector size, and zoom. These parameters are customizable and can be saved if desired. An application specialist can assist with image customization. To turn on color, tap the color key on the right side of the touch screen. Notice that the imaging parameters under the image tab change to color. To change the size of the color box, tap and drag one of the dots in the corner of the color box. To change the position of the box, press a finger in the middle of the box and drag it around the image. Notice, while in color mode, the gain works to increase and decrease your color gain. To exit color mode, either press the color key again or press the B key just above it. To enter pulse wave Doppler, press the PW key. Position the PW sample gate in the desired position with a finger. There are three ways to activate Doppler. Press the PW key again, press the update icon, which is lit in white, or double tap on the PW cursor. Notice while in PW mode, the options under the image tab have changed to PW, which is highlighted blue. To access M mode, press the M key on the touchscreen tab and position the image's sample line. Enter M mode similar to PW mode. Press the M key again. Press the update key or double tap on the M mode cursor. Press the M key again or the B key to exit M mode. TDI stands for Tissue Doppler Imaging and is only available in cardiac presets. To activate this function, first tap TDI to turn on the color overlay, adjust if desired, then tap PW to position the sample gate, and tap Update to activate. To annotate on the image, 
press the Annotate tab. There is the option of using the preset library or manual entry. Tap the desired word or phrase in the library. To move annotations, press and hold on the words and drag a finger to a desired location on the screen. To delete text, either press the Clear or Clear All tab. The annotation library is customizable. Your application specialist can help with this upon installation. To freehand type, press the keyboard icon at the bottom of the annotation tab. To close the keyboard, press the keyboard key again. To close the annotation function, tap the annotation tab. Measurements on the TEX are divided into two types, basic and advanced. Basic measurements are generic calculations like distance, area, and volume. Basic measurements do not populate the report page. Under the Advanced tab is where labeled measurements specific to the exam mode are located, such as CRL and OB or ejection fraction in cardiac. To take a basic distance measurement, freeze the image and press the Measure tab. A hand-shaped icon will appear on the screen. Place a finger on the icon and drag the caliper to start the measurement. Tap to begin. Drag the caliper to the end point and tap again to end. The measurement caliper on the TEX is customizable. You can use the basic icon, an icon featuring fine adjustments, and or a caliper with a magnification reference box in the upper screen. Customize your preferences with the More tab at the bottom of the Measure tab. While using the measurement tool, the Update tab will toggle between calipers to reposition them if needed. Note the caliper is green while active and turns white once it is set. Add multiple sets of calipers if desired. The Edit option under the More tab allows you to adjust your caliper positions even after being set. To perform a different type of measurement, for instance, volume, press the Volume option in the list under Basic. Clear the last measurement made with the Clear Item tab and the entire screen with the Clear All tab. Close the measurement function by tapping the Measure tab again. Reviewing Images and Archive Management Once desired images have been stored, select the Review tab. You can adjust the size of the icons on this page in the upper left. Once on the review screen, images may be selected for full screen review by double tapping the desired image. To scroll through images and clips taken, tap the thumbnails along the side of the review screen. When finished scrolling in full screen, tap Return to navigate back to the main review page. Images may be deleted from this location by selecting the image and choosing Delete at the bottom of the screen or in the thumbnail view by highlighting the image and using the trash can icon. Post-processing features are available, such as adding annotations or measurements during review as well. An edited image should be saved and will display right after the original one on the review screen. Once all necessary changes have been made, select Done to exit review mode and return to the main imaging screen. Select End Exam. If the system will be transmitting images to a PAX, an application specialist can set up the system to automatically transmit images when selecting End Exam if desired. Select iStation to access the exam archive with a list of all prior exams. Use your finger to scroll to all the fields, reorder, and rearrange headers. In iStation, you can review, delete, or send past exams from this page. The TEX allows users to reactivate an ended exam to add images or update patient demographics. To change patient demographics, tap once to highlight the desired patient. Select the More button at the bottom of the screen. Available options will be illuminated. Select Activate. Navigate to the Patient tab to change demographic information. To update, tap on the desired field and an X will appear. Select the X to clear this field. Enter corrected patient information at this time. Select Done to accept changes. Remember to end your exam again once desired changes have been made. To send images to an external archive or storage device, select the desired study from iStation and choose Send To at the bottom of the screen. Select the location and tap Send. To delete studies from the iStation archive, highlight desired exams, leaving the most recent exam unselected as you cannot delete an active exam. Then select Delete at the bottom of the screen. If desired, an application specialist may set up the auto-delete feature to ensure the hard drive will never get too full. 
Please note that once an exam is deleted through the auto-delete feature, there is no way to retrieve it. The trash bin is a tool that can be used to retrieve accidentally deleted studies or images. It is located in the menu icon. To retrieve a specific study, highlight that study and then click Restore. This will send the exam back to the iStation archive. It is recommended that the recycle bin is emptied after deleting studies to keep the hard drive clear. Note that you can specify how long to hold deleted studies in the recycle bin if you would like to empty automatically. The recycling bin on the TEX can also be disabled completely, so once studies from iStation are deleted, they are gone. This can be configured in the General Setup page. Pairing the Wireless Transducer To pair the i3P wireless transducer to the TEX system, make sure that the probe is fully charged. To begin, disconnect the probe from the charging station or USB and turn on with a long press of the power button. On the system, press the menu icon, then Setup, Network, Wireless Network. On this screen, highlight WPS. Note, WLAN should also be on if connected to the hospital Wi-Fi network as the TEX features two wireless cards, one for the probe and one dedicated to a Wi-Fi network. Tap Immediate Effect. Next tap, select Network. A list of available networks will appear. Choose the probe's Wi-Fi. The SSID will be similar to the probe's serial number or will begin with MR underscore. Highlight the Wi-Fi network and tap Connect. Input the password, 123-456-78. Tap OK and Save to exit the setup screen. You should now see the wireless probe icon on the imaging screen. Access the probe and choose the desired preset with the probe tab. Turn off the probe and replace into the charging station or connect the USB when finished scanning. Note, the probe cannot be used or connected when plugged into the USB charging adapter. Programming the transducer buttons. Some transducers, including the L123RCS and L123VNS linear ultrasound transducer, allow operational functions to be programmed onto the buttons. There are three button controls, two on the face and one on the side of the transducer that can be programmed for multiple functions if desired. To program the L12RCS, tap the menu icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Tap Setup, then along the left, select the tab labeled Key Probe. Use the drop-down to select the desired probe. This brings up an illustration of the transducer and applicable button keys. Use the drop-down arrow next to each button to select the desired function or functions. There is the ability to program a short press, a long press, and on a K3, a double click as well. Make desired selections and tap Save at the bottom of the screen. Buttons may also be disabled on the L12 by simply unchecking the Enable Probe Key Functions box. Advanced Features XPilot XPilot is an application-based scanning tool for clinical scenarios based on the rush, E-FAST, and lung exams. Images are labeled and organized on a chart. Clinical notes can be added, and the summary chart can be saved via the screenshot feature in the menu tab to go to packs with other images. This feature is not associated with a report. Let's take a look at an example. Select the application tab, then choose your desired exam. Trauma is equivalent to a typical E-FAST exam, shock to a rush exam, and respiration to a lung exam. I will choose shock. Note that images are subdivided into heart, lung, abdomen, and lower extremity veins for this exam. Simply tap on the desired view. Note, the annotation has been filled in automatically and obtain and save your image or clip. You can also add clinical findings. Tap on various views to continue in this manner. You do not need to obtain all views. When finished, go to the Summary tab and screenshot the illustrations. Exit by hitting End Application. iScan Helper iScan Helper is an educational reference tool built into the system and is exam mode specific. To initiate iScan Helper, 
select the desired transducer and exam mode, then tap the iScan Helper icon from the toolbar or access it through the menu. Select the target view and the system will display different informational screens. The system will provide you with an image that portrays proper transducer placement, a graphic representation of the target, and scanning tips. A reference ultrasound image can also be turned on that will display in dual format on the imaging screen. On the TEX, images may be saved while in iScan Helper. Exit by tapping the X or the tab. iWorks iWorks is MindRay's protocol feature which allows for guided pre-labeled exams. iWorks is exam mode specific, so first choose your transducer and exam mode. To activate, tap the iWorks tab in the toolbar or access it from the menu. A list of iWorks protocols will display to choose from. Tap the applicable protocol from the list. iWorks is equipped with a large library of factory protocols, but custom iWorks can also be created. An application specialist can help build custom protocols to desired specifications. Once a protocol has begun, the views will be displayed to the left of the imaging screen, as well as any associated annotations. Obtain the view and tap Save or Save Clip to store. Follow the prompts along the bottom of the imaging screen for views that activate different modes, require measurements, or activate dual. The system will automatically advance to the next view. Proceed in this manner until the iWorks protocol is complete. iWorks is designed to offer flexibility while scanning. There is the option to pause the iWorks protocol if needed and resume later. To pause, tap the Suspend tab. To resume, tap the iWorks tab again and the protocol will pick up where you left off. Continue until complete. The Exit tab ends the protocol but does not end the exam. Continue to scan the patient outside of the protocol if necessary. When ready, tap End Exam to close the study. Auto EF Plus Auto EF Plus is a quick tool that provides left ventricular ejection fraction based on the Simpsons method. Auto EF can be used either on a saved clip or while live scanning. Using the phased array transducer in a cardiac exam mode, obtain an apical 4 or apical 2 chamber view of the heart and hold the view or have a previously saved clip playing on screen. Tap the Smart Toolbox icon and choose Auto EF Plus. The system will automatically begin tracing the left ventricular chamber in real time, providing ejection fraction and volume data. Freeze the image of live scanning to save an image or accept results. If using a saved clip, the system will display images until the CINE is finished. Scrolling through the CINE will display the various results over the course of the cycles captured. The system automatically identifies the two and four chamber views. However, tap on the view label in the upper left if it is misidentified and the system will reanalyze the clip. Underneath the image tab, there are additional control options. Accept results will put the data into the report. Cycle allows for adjustment of the number of analyzed cycles from a clip. Finally, there is an exit tab when finished. If desired, repeat the process with the other view. Smart VTI The Smart VTI tool provides a quick analysis of a patient's stroke volume and cardiac output. Smart VTI is done while live scanning and cannot be applied to a previously saved clip. Begin with the phased array transducer in a cardiac or fast exam mode. Then measure the LVOT diameter. The LVOT value may be entered later if desired. To measure, obtain a parasternal long axis view and press freeze. Scroll to end systole. Tap measure, advanced, LVOT diam, and place the calipers to measure the outflow tract. Take care to tap the last caliper so the measurement turns white. This assures the value is saved for the upcoming calculation. Next, obtain an apical five-chamber view of the heart and activate Smart VTI with the tab in the Smart Toolbox. The system will enter pulsed wave Doppler, automatically placing the sample gate in the LVOT. Adjust the position of the gate in the reference image if needed. The system will begin auto-tracing the Doppler envelopes and calculating VTI, 
SV, and CO data. Press Freeze to stop the Doppler acquisition, and the system will analyze the data. An LVOT diameter is necessary to calculate a stroke volume and cardiac output, so if it was not manually measured earlier, use the LVOT diameter tab to enter a numeric value. The Doppler envelopes being used for the displayed data are indicated with dotted lines. You may choose the number of cycles to average with the auto calc cycle adjustment on the left. Scroll to different complex or manually adjust the trace with the Edit VTI tab using the caliper tool. Data will change as soon as a different complex is selected or there is a change to the tracing contour. By turning on the graph and tapping Save VTI, the system can plot multiple data points for the patient. The last six data points will display on the graph. Save the image if desired. The data from the Smart VTI can also be found in the Fluid Management and Cardiac Report types. Smart IVC Smart IVC is a software option that automatically traces the IVC diameter changes and calculates the collapsibility index for spontaneous breathing and dissensibility index for mechanical ventilation. It is available on phased and curvilinear transducers in cardiac, abdominal, and EM fast presets. Smart IVC can be performed during live scanning or on stored clips. To calculate during real-time imaging, scan the IVC in the long access plane and press the Smart IVC tab in the Smart Toolbox. The system will automatically locate the IVC target area, track, and measure the changes in IVC diameter. Select Spontaneous Breath or Mechanical Ventilation. If the sampling position is suboptimal, simply adjust the sample line in the reference image. Press the Trend tab to initiate a graph displaying the results over time, which will appear in the upper left corner of the imaging screen. Smart IVC will automatically calculate the respiratory cycle, but can be edited by pressing the RR tab located at the bottom of the tab. Smart Beelines Smart Beeline is an AI tool that will identify the plural line, provide quantitative analysis of beelines, and provide lung scores. Select the desired transducer and lung exam mode. The Smart Beeline function may be performed during live scanning or from a stored clip. Tap Smart Beeline to activate the Smart Beeline feature and select desired lung zone map from the dropdown. Obtain an image and select AutoCalc to start the analysis. If live scanning, press Freeze to display results. The system automatically detects the rib acoustic shadow analyzes and calculates the beeline number, percentage of ROI, score, and also automatically displays the image with the largest percentage. Save and repeat for all lung zones. Quantitative indicators, including beeline count, distance, and beeline percentage, will be displayed in the top right corner of the image. When all lung zone images are complete, select Overview to review the results for each lung zone. A library of findings and diagnosis annotations is available to the left of the image. Smart TTQA Smart TTQA is the tissue tracking function on the TEX. It is performed on saved clips and cannot be used while live scanning. Smart TTQA is designed to be an easy-to-use tool for the POC environment. It will analyze and give global longitudinal strain results for the apical 4, 2, and 3 chamber views. Let's begin by having an apical 4 chamber clip playing on the screen. You can adjust the 2D imaging parameters, such as gain if desired. Activate TTQA from the Smart Toolbox. Upon activation, the system will identify the view and automatically place a tracking point on the myocardium. The mitral valve closure timing is automatically identified on the Cine bar. This can be changed if desired and will alter the results. On the left, you can adjust the view, if incorrect, the trace method, it defaults to auto, the thickness of the tracing points, and the number of tracking points. You can manually adjust the placement of the points with the caliper tool. When satisfied with the trace, press Start Tracking. A progress bar will display, and when finished, the clip will play with the tracking. It is important to verify that the tracing points appear to track the motion of the myocardium. Tap Accept and Compute. Results for volume, 
ejection fraction, and global strain will appear in the upper right with a volume curve below the image. Analyzed parameters can be changed in the dropdown. Longitudinal strain is the default. Use the Reload tab if you want to start over with the same image. Use the Save icon to save results. Use the Return tab to exit back to the Review screen to choose another image. Use the Bullseye slider to display results on a bullseye chart. Results for each view are done along with a composite average. Data in the form of a CSV file can be exported to a USB. Smart Echo View Smart Echo View is a learning and education tool based on AI technology, e.g. image recognition structure detection, that automatically recognizes standard echocardiographic views and key anatomic structures, gives feedback to the user on successful attainment of those structures, and illustrates how to move to the next view. Smart Echo View recognizes the following views. Parasternal long axis, parasternal short axis, apical forechamber, subcostal forechamber, and IVC. It is recommended to begin in the PLAX view. Obtain and hold the view and activate the tool from the Smart Toolbox. An icon of the view will appear in the upper left. Structures that are not well identified will be grayed out, while those visualized will be blue. Once all structures are identified, save an image or utilize the autosave image or clip feature by sliding those options on under the image tab. Tips for moving to the next views are displayed on the left. Proceed through the views as directed. Note, because the tool is based on pattern recognition, no icon will appear without an image on the screen with enough information for the system to begin to process. Exit Smart Echo View with the Exit tab or by tapping the Smart Toolbox icon and deselecting it. Auto DFR Auto DFR, or Auto Diastolic Function Ratios, automates the measurement of cardiac diastolic parameters, EA, EE medial, EE lateral, yielding results with just a few clicks. Auto DFR is available in cardiac presets and is done while live scanning. It cannot be applied to a saved clip. Obtain an apical four-chamber view and initiate Auto DFR from the Smart Toolbox. Choose EA and a PW sample volume will automatically be placed in the mitral leaflet tips, which can be adjusted if needed. AutoCalc will begin and identify the E and A waveforms, give the velocities, and calculate the ratio. Save the image or accept results. Next, choose the EE and the tool will automatically turn on tissue Doppler and place a PW gate at either the medial or lateral annulus. Tap the appropriate tab. Calculations for the velocity of the E-wave and the ratio of the EE will display. Freeze and press Save to store the image and put the data into the report. Smart Nerve Smart Nerve automatically recognizes and locates the brachial plexus in the interscalene and supraclavicular region, enhancing and highlighting the display of the nerves. Choose an appropriate nerve preset and begin scanning. Activate Smart Nerve from the Smart Toolbox and select your preferred mode, color overlay or enhancement. The transparency of the color and the level of nerve enhancement can be adjusted with the controls in the Image tab. Dual comparison is an available option for the color display. Use the Exit tab to close the function. Auto GA Auto GA is a tool to automatically detect and measure the gastric antrum area. Obtain a view of the gastric antrum and freeze. Note, your image must be frozen for the Auto GA option to appear in the Smart Toolbox. Auto GA may also be used on a prior saved image. Select Auto GA from the Smart Toolbox. The system will automatically identify and trace the edge of the gastric antrum and provide gastric antrum area. You may use the Remeasure tab if you are unsatisfied with the trace. Tap Accept Result. A trend curve can be turned on to capture historical data. System Maintenance and Disinfection The TEX screen is easily cleaned and disinfected using an approved product. To clean the screen without changing any imaging parameters, select the Menu button in the top right corner of the imaging screen. Select Screen Lock. 
This will lock the screen for 10 seconds in order to clean the screen without accidentally changing any settings on the system. Please reference the provided disinfection and sterilization guide or contact an application specialist with any questions concerning system disinfection. Detailed information about regular cleaning of the system and dust filter can be found in the operator's manual.